The House Judiciary Committee taking up the issue of violence and discrimination against Asian Americans. Asian Americans have been fighting an additional virus of hate and bigotry. Anti-Asian rhetoric like China virus, Kung flu, have left Asian Americans traumatized and fearful for their lives. Among those testifying, California Representative Michelle Steele, one of the first Korean American women to serve in Congress. Combating hate is not a partisan issue. We can all agree that violence against any community should never be tolerated. Today's hearings on the heels of Tuesday's deadly shootings in Metro Atlanta. Eight people died, six of them were women of Asian descent. Investigators in Atlanta say it's too soon to know if it was racially motivated. New autopsy results in last December's police killing of Casey Goodson. An attorney for the family says the final coroner's report reveals the 23-year-old was shot five times in the back, one time in the buttocks. Columbus police confirmed 17-year veteran of the force Jason Meade fired those fatal shots. Attorneys for the victim's family now demand that officer be arrested and charged for murder. What actually happened in those fatal moments is still unclear. Goodson's family says he was shot in the door of his home after returning from the dentist and a stop to pick up sandwiches. Officer Meade's lawyer insists, quote, at no time did Deputy Meade mistake a sandwich for a gun, claiming Goodson pointed a gun at the deputy and ignored commands to drop it. Goodson did have a license to carry a concealed weapon, but his family says they did not see a gun at the time of the shooting. What I believe in my heart happened is that my son was murdered in cold blood for being a black man. There weren't any police body cams to capture those fatal moments. A criminal investigation is ongoing. Russia's leader reacting to a remark President Biden made. Vladimir Putin has responded to President Biden calling him a killer. Putin's response on state television, he quoted the phrase in Russian, I know you are, but what am I? Biden made the comments about the Russian leader in an interview with ABC's George Stephanopoulos. You know Vladimir Putin, you think he's a killer? Mm -hmm. I do. Biden's words have triggered a furious reaction from Russia's government. It's recalled its ambassador from the U.S. for consultations over the remarks. Patrick Reval, ABC News. A Republican political operative down in Florida is facing charges for allegedly trying to steal an election by funding a sham candidate named Alex Rodriguez. Prosecutors say Frank Artilas paid Rodriguez $44,000 to change his party affiliation in an effort to siphon votes from the incumbent Democrat, whose last name was also Rodriguez. The incumbent ultimately lost the district election by just 32 votes. I don't like him. Rodriguez, who did no campaigning, received 6,000 votes. A child was killed in a tragic accident on a Peloton treadmill. CEO John Foley shared the news in an email to owners of the company's Tread Plus. He urged users to keep children and pets away from the Peloton equipment and store it safely when not in use. Foley said that the company was aware of only a handful of cases of children hurt in accidents involving the Tread Plus. He didn't reveal the age of the child who died or any other information saying it was out of respect for the victim's family. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.